What's up guys? Welcome back by this new video. Today doing the Great League. And today I'm going to test out the trio as a Pokemon. But before we start, guys, I really hope you just uh, have got or still have a great Easter. Hopefully you are yeah, just happy with maybe your family or at some festival or I don't know. But at least I hope you have a great Easter. And uh, yeah, right now let's about the trio. It's a normal flying type. It has stealing as fast move, aerial ace and brave bird as charge moves and will be assisted by Nido Queen and Feraligator. So uh, mm. yeah, let's hope uh, it will be something. We're going against uh, starting first match against SGB Daddy. <laughs> starting against a Mandy boss. That's not the worst Pokemon to start against. Very happy to go against it. Nicely throwing in a Poison Fang on alignment. I think uh, this will be something fun. Poison Fang always lowers the attack from the Mandy. Many bus will go here for an aerial ace, it does okay amount of damage, not too special. Continuing with my poison jabs, opponent may go for another one of those moves. This time just to fall play, it's fine. You can tank it, going here for another poison thing. This will deal more damage, so that's perfect, poison thing. But the problem is, I'm not sure if I can just... Oh, he lets me farm... Oh, that's kind of him. Or he has something in the bag. Or he just crashed. I'm just going for the Earth Power. No Poison uh, Fang here. Going just straight for the Earth Power. Earth Power. Massive damage into that. Venusaur. And right now, it's... We're... Going with Dotrio. Um, I think it's quite a classic Pokemon. So I'm just deciding to shield the first one. Yes, there's the sludge. Perfect. Continuing and going for that Steel Wing farm down. I think at least it has Steel Wing. Oh no. Please don't say it is. Oh, it's a an lantern. And I. Problem of Dotrio, it has only got flying type moves. So yeah, um, I will switch here into my Feraligator. I think that's the best Pokemon to throw in right now. Deciding to shield here. It's the Thunderbolt, very nice shielding from my side. Going here for an Hydro Cannon. Um... Yeah, hoping uh, at least they got the shield. I can go for the CMP, going for another Hydro Cannon here. We'll probably shield it once again. Perfect. Maybe, and still maybe, I can make it with my Brave Bird, because I think their trio is more of an attack-based Pokemon. I honestly don't know, but... Oh, I can just barely make it to the Brave Bird. Will this be enough to KO the Lantern? I don't think so, but we can see the amount of damage it does. Brave Bird, it gets rid of the Lantern. Oh, wow. That's amazing. For <laughs> the first match already. Really love it. Um, so let's continue into the second match. We're going against Dayom. We starting very bad. <laughs> Need a queen into Quagsire. I will switch straight into my Feral Gator. Opponent switches into Sableye. Okay, that's an okay Pokemon to switch in. I'm deciding to go straight here for that Hydro Cannon. Hydro Cannon won't be shielded. Very nice. I think my best option at this point is to. Commit two shields and go for that entire Shadow Claw farm down. I think that's the best I can do. So I'm deciding to shield. Opponent fall plays me. Probably back to back we will see. But I just 
need to get rid of that Quagsire. However, Quagsire is a Pokemon with a lot of movesets, so yeah, it could be quite, quite kind of interesting to see which moveset he has. Going straight for the for the Hydro Cannon here into that Quagsire. Opponent will probably let the first one go. Oh, or he's just straight shielding. Going for another Hydro Cannon here. This Hydro Cannon, I think, let will be let go or not? Still not. Going for another Hydro Cannon, why not? Just continuing with the pressure into the opponent. Does quite some damage, really love that. Switching into my Nido Queen, opponent goes into Frostless. No, I'm losing the CMP. Ooh, that's that's kind of bad for me. Avalanche one shots me. Ooh. I really needed to win that CMP. Um I wait my switch timer and then I think the trio is for me the best option to throw in. At least the trio can win the CMP. Because its attack is way higher than the Frostless. His attack anyways gets rid of the Frostless. I think opponent will go for the Stone Edge. Oh, there's the Stone Edge. Yes, I will lose. I've lost. So, yeah, very nice plays from the opponent. Couldn't do much against it. But yeah, um, into the third match right now. So against Mega Kerr, going Nido Queen into Dapu. It's a very nice lead, definitely staying in. Nido Queen is more the Pokemon to deal, to just get rid of the first Pokemon. That's at least the, the thing I want to do. Opponent body slams me. I'm going for the first Poison Fang here. I think this is very nice to be able to get rid of this double. Poison Fang lowers the opponent's defense always. Um, oh, there's a little glitchy poison, fang, poison Jab here with an animation. It's quite fun to see. Opponent goes for another Body Slam. And I'm deciding to just go and Poison Fang the opponent down. I think that's the best what I can do. But surely opponent goes for a shield. He cannot KO me. So he wasted an entire shield here. Okay, opponent goes into a Belloper. Poo, that's a hard one. Yeah, I think uh, my Feraligator is the best op option to throw in. And then tr just throw in the Ice Beam and see how this goes into the opponent. Seeing his reaction, Ice Beam, quite some damage. Opponent in the back has uh, Unovan Stunfisk. Okay, that's fine. I have uh, my Dotrio in the back, so I'm very happy to get rid of this Pokemon. Or do I want... No, I won't... I won't risk to finish it off with my uh, Dotrio. It's a little bit too risky, in my opinion. Going here for another Hydro Cannon. Hydro Cannon will be shielded, switching into Dotrio. I th I'm not sure if I can tank a discharge. Right now we can see how tanky the trio is. Oh, not at all. Oh no. Just glassy. Totally glassy Pokemon. Ooh. Oh, this is just a risk. Well, I f oh, I think the opponent will bait. Yes, he baits. Oh, very nice catch from my side so that's why i can just shield the second one without real problems because this one will be another weather ball at this point but who that's uh was quite hard 
So uh, two wins in and one lose into the fourth match of the first streak. So we go against Mr. Lazy. Starting Nido Queen into Shadow Dragonair. Um I can stay in here for now. I think I can deal quite some pressure into the opponent with my poison thing. However, the opponent will win the CMP unfortunately. But that's okay. Um before I'm making it to the next poison thing, I will switch into my Feraligator to make that beautiful Aquatil catch. So Poison Fang, or I can just go here for the Poison Jet farm down, oh, and it's all also a good option. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't, pr oh, I thought I pressed that attack. Going for Hydra Cannon on the CMP, problem is about the Skarmory here. I don't know which moveset he has. Skarmory is a little bit of a core breaker. I really hope and really hope he won't go for the Brave Bird. No, he just throws in a Sky Attack. Very happy with that. So that means I can just farm a little bit more. Opponent, no! Makes a beautiful catch on his Lantern. That's really unfortunate. That means... It's up to oh no, the trio that's already just a glass cannon. Um, yeah, I just have to shield. Lantern and Skarmory is just a totally bad combination. I, I'm deciding to go here for the Brave Bird, seeing how this one will go. No, it gets even shielded. Uh, that means I, I cannot do anything, so I've lost. Really nice play from the opponent. So let's hop into the last match of the first three. Two wins to two loses. Hopefully we will win. Mm. We're going against Whitey. 93. <laughs> uh, Nido Queen into Galarian Stunfisk. That's kind of a tricky Pokemon. Three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, and switching into my. Oh, I had to make a catch on my Dotrio, I think. Ooh, Earthquake does quite some damage. Opponent goes into Medicham. I will be able to make it at least to an Hydro Cannon, but still, it's not a very good Pokemon for me. That Medicham, Hydro Cannon. Lowers uh, his HP quite low. Yeah, maybe I had to go here for the Earth Power. But at least Poison Fang does okay amount of damage. I think I will let the Ice Punch go. Hopefully, it's not a Psychic. Oh, it's just a Power Up Punch. Oh, that's even better that I didn't shield it. Hopefully, opponent return. No, he is not returning with his Galarian Stunfisk. That's really unfortunate for me. At least I'm going here for just a simple Poison Fang. Switching into Dotrio. That's my best Pokemon to throw in. However, opponent can very easily outpace me here and there. So, yeah, I just have to shield all of those rock slides and things. So I'm going here straight for the Brave Bird. This can deal quite some damage into the opponent, as we see. Do I want to stay in? I think I have to stay in here. Opponent rock slides, that's totally fine. Going here for an Aerial Ace, trying to get rid of this Galarian Stunfish, but he probably will shield it, exactly. And right now he will go for the Rock Slide, that will be able to KO my 
uh, Do Trio. And he makes it to a move, and I've lost. That's really unfortunate. <laughs> um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Really nice plays from the opponent. Couldn't do much against it. So, yeah, two wins. Not the best and the worst. But we are back at 1900 ELO. <laughs> Because I did some battles on my own with some testing teams mm. that weren't very good. But right now, into the second stream, going against King of Gods. Starting Nita Queen into Quagsire. This time I will switch straight into my Dotrio, seeing if opponent wants to go for potential Stone Edge. I will just see. I'm de deciding to shield the first one. It's straight a stone edge, that's perfect. I'm deciding to go straight for the Brave Bird. I think that's the best option for me. Brave Bird, massive damage into that Mandy bus. I think I'm deciding to I will decide to shield here. I think that's my best option. Opponent Aerial Aces me. I can Go for two snarls, making it then to just a simple aerial ace as well. Aerial ace will be shielded by the opponent, and I think my Totria won't be able to make it to the next one. That's unfortunate, but it's okay. Aerial ace gets rid of my Totrio. I will throw in my Foraligator. I can go for perfect Shadow Claw farm down. Which Pokemon will the opponent throw in? He goes into and hits him on top. That's a Pokemon we don't see very often. So Hydro Cannon. Get shielded by the opponent. Going for another Hydro Cannon here. This Hydro Cannon. Almost get rid of that. It's on top, but I'm making a beautiful catch on my Nido Queen opponent. Goes for close combat. That's a perfect catch. Opponent will go here probably for a mud pump, I expect. Or Aqua Tail that almost one shots me. The problem is, I don't think my Hydro Cannon will be able to get rid of this. Quagsire, because Quagsire is a little bit too tanky. Hydro Cannon, no! An opponent makes it to a Stone Edge, and I think I've lost once again. Yes, that's unfortunate. At least I tried. <laughs> um... Yeah, into the second match of the second streak right now. And guys, we need only 25 subscribers to make it to the 400 subscribers. So if you want to be in the first 400 subscribers on my channel, please just press that subscribe button. It helps me and it's always free. And you can always change your mind later. And right now we're starting into a dream lead. Nido Queen into Bestiodon. I can just easily go here for quite an over farm, making it then to an earth power. Earth power deals for double super effective damage. Really amazing this. Get shielded by the opponent. Even gets that 10% defense drop chance. Amazing. Opponent stone edge. I'm, I will shield as well, otherwise you wouldn't stay in here. Making it almost to 100 energy, throwing in another Earth Power. Earth Power gets rid of the Bestiodon. Amazing. Oh, opponent isn't just completely core broken by Anita Queen. Going here for Earth Power, I think on the CMP, that makes it even better. This Earth Power. 
does quite some damage into that wish cash. I will let this go. If the opponent is smart, he will go for an undercharge here. Mud bomb. No, he isn't undercharging. Going into the trio. Opponent switches into a Tenon Flame. That means it's time for my Ferelegator. Going just for a very simple Hydro Cannon here. This will definitely be shielded by the opponent. Otherwise, he's already dead. I can think of Fly. So I will just let this go. Because it could be just a Flame Charge. Exactly. One, two, three. Four, and I can outpace the opponent, making it to the Hydro Cannon. Getting rid of this uh, Tenon Flame. That's amazing. And then only that is. Only Pokemon that's left is the Wish Cash, but I want to finish it with the trio, so that's why I'm just letting it go. <laughs> the trio comes. Yeah, I know Aerial Ace is already enough, so I will just finish it off with my Aerial Ace. But still, I really want to go for just once again massive damage like that against that Manly boss from previous match. It would be great. So right now into the third match of the second stream. We are going against EV Drops. Neo Queen into a Dunsparce. Dunsparce is more of the tricky ish Pokemon that can definitely stay in here making it to the poison thing before he makes it to a drill run that's amazing poison thing will lower his defense or defense oh it was on the CMP that's unfortunate um I'm letting this go I think it's safe one Two, three, switching. Oh no, I cannot switch. That's unfortunate. So after four more of those rollouts, I will make a beautiful catch on my Do Trio. I think that's safe. One, two, three, four. Switching into Do Trio, making a beautiful catch. Didn't want to risk to go for another poison jab. Drill run, not very effective. Opponent is switching into Toxapex. Ooh. And I have a new move ready for, for her. Going for the Brave Bird. Will she commit a shield or not? No, she won't commit. And that's massive damage against her. It's really amazing. Switching back into my Nita Queen. I think my best option is to go for back to back Poison Fang at this point. Poison Fang, one. Oh no, I cannot go for the back to back. Yeah, I will just let this go. Brian gets rid of my Nido Queen. And then it's all up to for Relegator. But the problem is, I don't know what she has in the back. She goes for a little chip damage with her Brian. Um, then on flame, I'm going for an hydro cannon here. This will be quite hard to KO this thing. Yeah, I just have to shield the first one, no other choice. One, two, hydro cannon. This will be able to get rid of this, or get her final shield, I still can win this. One, two, another Hydro Cannon, perfect. And then only that one HP done sparse is left, and I can just Shadow Claw the one down. So I KO'd an entire Talon Flame, which is my Ferelegator, it's amazing. Ooh, it was quite hard, I have to say. But it has been worth the waiting. Um, so into the fourth match of the third, second streak right now. We're going against Errol High Singlu or something like that. 
He's starting Neo Queen into Annihilate. Not the best one at Pokemon at all. Okay, he, he has Night Slash as moveset. That's, I think, fine. I can just stay in here, going for that Earth Power here. Um, Earth Power gets shielded, and that's unfortunate. Um, he is allowed to just KO me. Night Slash won't deal a huge amount still. I will switch, I want to save my uh, Needle Queen for maybe something later. I honestly think this could be a Shadow Ball, that's why I'm just trying to shield it. No, it's just still Night Slash. Oh no, opponent goes into Dual Gong. I'm still, I think I'm still very happy that the, I can, I just threw out my for alligator, but Dual Gong is just an instant core breaker for my team. Going for another Hydro Cannon on the CMP this time. I hope opponent will go for an icy wind here. I think that's uh, for me the best if he goes for that. Yes, there's the icy wind. Perfect. Love it. Going here for another hydro cannon. Because opponent will go. He cannot harvest me down, at least. Or at least, yeah, ice shard me down. So he will definitely throw a move. And that means I can just throw in my Dotrio and go for that farm down, I think. I see Wind still won't be able to KO me. Dotrio Steel Wing is a little bit faster than Ice Shard, so that's perfect. I won't try to go for the CMP. I will just shield this because look at already that counter damage. And it's not even super effective. Going for the entire Steel Wing farm down. Amazing. Oh no. Opponent in the back has a Skarmory. Um, I'm deciding to go here for the Brave Bird. Maybe my best option. Will be shielded. Surely why not. But then. I can make it to one poison. <laughs> no this is stupid. I'm going for one poison thing here from my Nita Queen. Lowering that defense, and I think I still won't be able to make it to uh, any moves. So, uh, yeah. Um, into the last match of the second streak. Once again, two wins into two loses. Mm. Hopefully, we'll win it. Um, going against Senkiza Kinishi. Starting against Dragon Knight. Yeah, I think this is my best Pokemon to throw in because look at already that poison jab damage. It's on the CMP. I'm deciding to shield. Maybe opponents will decide as well, but we will see. I think for me the best option is to try to win the switch. Um Poison Fang. I think if he won't shield this one, I can just harvest him down. Just poison jab him down. Yes, that's perfect. And I made some farm as, as well. So which Pokemon will opponent throw in? We're seeing a Greedent. Not a uh, much shot Greedent. Quite interesting. I will switch into Feraligator, making that beautiful catch. Because I think I need my Needle Queen for maybe something later. Opponent body slams, totally fine. Oh yes, that's why I needed my Nita Queen maybe for later. Because of that lantern that's incoming right now. Going for Hydro Cannon. No, I had to make it to another one. Nita Queen. I think I've lost. <laughs> Uh, I, I will try with the saying to shield here. 
No, I cannot make it to another second poison thing. Oh, this you are kidding me. So close. Otherwise, I could have won the CMP and maybe he will shield, but yeah, I've lost. Very nice play from the opponent once again. So right now we are at four wins. Um, not great. We have to win four times to make it to at least eight. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, right now into the last streak. First match of the third streak. Against Slivy. Going Nida Queen into Jellicent. I can stay in here for now. One, two, three, four. Switching into for Relegator. Opponent will definitely throw a Shadow Ball. I will just commit it. Just letting it go. I think that's fine. Opponent throws in Lydian. Um, okay, that's an interesting one. I'm not entirely sure what that Pokemon can do. I know it has Aerial Ace, I think. Going at least for the Ice Beam. I don't know his moveset. Um, um, returning with Nido Queen, maybe? <laughs> she will go for Aerial Ace, I expect. Yeah, that won't deal a huge amount of damage. At least before she makes it to another move. Going just for simple poison thing here. I want to get rid of this thing. Neo Queen going for that Earth Power. She, opponent will, she will definitely shield this one. No, she isn't. A huge mistake from her. But I still don't know what she has left in the bag. That's just a problem. Surf, get rid of my Nido Queen. And it's all up to the trio. Deciding to shield this one because I'm just too glassy and I don't know what she has in the bag. No. Wait, I have Steel Wing. Don't throw any move, just go for that entire Steel Wing farm down. Avalanche would absolutely overkill me. Can I go? Steel Wing, I can just K. Oh my gosh, <laughs> didn't expect that. Okay, that's amazing. Just an, a very clean, solid win, I would say. Wow, didn't expect that at all. Um, right now into the second match of the third streak. Against Shrimp Taco. Taco, Taco. Uh, we're starting Needle Queen into regular. Non-Shadow Dragonair, that's okay. I will just do the same like previous time. But this time I will make a difference. Because I knew Aquatil is equal to a Poison Fang. So I'm just making a beautiful catch on my Feraligator. I think that's a solid switch. Oh no, no. Opponent has a Lantern in his team. I don't need to throw. I just wanted that he would throw something. Serve at me. Th that's fine. I can go for Nido Queen, hoping that I can bait out the opponent. Huge risk. <gasps> yes, he shields. That's amazing. Deciding to shield this serve. That's the best I can do. Here, I will go straight for the Earth Power. No baiting or anything. This is the best I can do. Earth power gets rid of the lantern. Amazing. No. No, as it's in the scummery as well in the back. And Totrio won't be able to do anything here. 
See, that's bad as well. Sky attack. I can shield that. Going just for an aerial ace. Uh, baiting, maybe? Maybe getting a shield? No. Oh, one HP. I can make it to another Brave Bird here. It's perfect, I think. Brave Bird gets rid of the Skarmory. One HP, but the opponent is still his Dragonair with a shield left, so I will commit. Cannot do anything. So right now we are at five wins with three matches to go that we have to win all to uh, make a chance of uh, yeah getting more elo than we start with but right now we're starting against poker six soy starting need a queen into shadow swampert oh no you have to be kidding me one two three four five switching into my four alligator no opponent don't goes for that beautiful catch but i think this will be It's a sludge. You just have to be kidding me. Opponent throws in a Skarmory as well. Who's putting a sludge wave on? Okay. Could be interesting. There is... Okay, so he is leading an entire shadow team. Good to see that. Um, I think Dotrio is the best one to throw in here. If I'm right, I can go for that entire steel wing farm down if I'm lucky enough. Opponent sky attack, that's fine. Can I go for that entire Yes, I can for the go for that entire steel wing farm down. It's amazing. Opponent returns with the shadow swampert, and that's my call. I have aerial aces on this thing. That are dealing massive damage. Go for another aerial ace. No baiting from my side. Aerial Ace once again gets shielded. I will just continue. Opponent, I think, cannot much shut me down. Okay, he's at least throwing in Hydro Cannon. That's really nice. I will just let it go. Hopefully he won't throw on the CMP, but he makes a beautiful catch on a Wish Cash. Oh, that's an annoying Pokemon as well. You just have to be kidding me. Earth power on the Shadow Wish Cash. This is just really terrible for me. I needed to shield my uh, Doe Trio. Opponent Mud Bombs. I have to go for the CMP. I w I'm winning at least the CMP, but I don't think... This poison thing will be enough to KO that Shadow Wish Cash. Poison thing. No 1 HP Shadow Wish Cash. Yeah, problem with Neo Queen is energy generation. It's just a little bit too slow to go for in the meta. Which, yeah, this is uh, unfortunate. Right now into fourth match of the third streak. Two loses into one win. <laughs> and we will go against Menji Barena. Going Nido Queen into Defense the Oh no, not Defense the Yoxis. But she's switching into Altaria. Very happy to see that Altaria. Because I'm really weak to Altaria in my backline. However, for relegate to kill do something against it. Okay, she goes here for sky attack. I'm making it interesting. I'm deciding to shield. Because that defense dioxis cannot go for that counter farm down against me. And uh, that defense dioxis has to throw psycho boost then. So I'm going for Poison Fang, getting rid of that Altaria. Oh, she switches into Marowak. 
Okay, interesting. Going for the Earth Power will definitely be shielded by the opponent. But wait, I have I have a normal and flying type, and I think her move set is Bone Club and Shadow Bone. So I think I'm very I feel very comfortable in this lead. Shadow Bone. Not very effective. Okay, she switches into Defense Dioxys. And that's where my Feraligator will come. I will shield this move. If it could be Thunderbolt. That's why I'm deciding to shield. Going then here for the Hydro Cannon. This Hydro Cannon will be shielded, I think. Yes. But I will be able to make it to another Hydro Cannon before she can make it to another Thunderbolt. So that's perfect. This Hydro Cannon won't be able to get rid of this uh, Defense Dioxys yet, but will make it quite low. Okay, she made it right now to a Thunderbolt, I think. So this will be able to get rid of my Feraligator. But here I can go for two Steel Wings. It will be very close against that Marowak. I hope I can tank the Shadow Bone. Oh, it's just a Bone Club. Huge mistake by the opponent. She had to go for a Shadow Bone instead of back to back Bone Club. Going for Brave Bird. But yeah, maybe. She, I think she does not know uh, what the typing of uh, Dotrio is, maybe. Because it's not. Dotrio doesn't fly, so maybe people will think because of that that. Dotrio is the flying type. Maybe. And that's why she went for Bone Club. I think. But uh, right now, into the last match of the video, once again, two wins into two loses against Bralisto. Going Nido Queen into Shadow Dragonair. I think I will do the same and make that beautiful Aqua Tail catch. When I'm making it to the Poison Fang. Yes, perfect catching from my spot. Uh, he goes for his Aquatil. Amazing. I can just very easily tank that. Ooh. There we see a Charge Beam Lantern. That's less annoying for me. Going here for an Hydro Cannon. This will be able to get this... Uh... Yeah, just do a little damage into that Lantern. I think I'm deciding to shield. It sounds a little crazy. I knew it would be a surf, but I think I played it nicely here. Going here for Hydro Cannon. I just wanted to deal a little bit more of chip damage. So hopefully my Nido Queen can just finish this the job. And hopefully if the opponent has a Skarmory in the back, I've lost. That's very simple. Switching into Nido Queen back. One two three making it then to the poison fang hoping to get rid of this uh, lantern uh, surely he shields uh so that means i will shield here as well otherwise i'm dead by his surf and i can nicely poison jab down the opponent Will we see the return of, yes, we're seeing the return of the Shadow Dragonair. Going here for my Poison Fang. Poison Fang will be shielded, I think, yes, perfect. No! No, there is that Skarmory in the back that I absolutely didn't want to see. Beautiful catch, at least, on that Skarmory with the Poison Jab. Okay, so we made it to four steel wings. So four more, and then I have to make a catch. One, two, three. No! It lagged. The game lagged. No! He goes for it. No, he just a sky attack. I can make it to the brave bird just with a slippage of HP left. It's just no way.
for alligator cannot KO it because the Shadow Dragonair has too much HP left. And this is just the team I saw, I think, three or four times. Huh, quite interesting. But yeah, we have won at the, at the end, we have won six times. Not the best at all, but at least I tried. Um, my opinion about the new Steel Wing to Trio, or at least Steel Wing to Trio, it's a really attack based Pokemon. I really like that. It has a ton of potential against Lantern, which just when throwing a Brave Bird. But the only downside is it has only flying attacks. And if you throw, yeah, those are always resistant against. So, yeah, maybe it has needed something else. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Um, yeah, but further than that, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely press that like and subscribe button to help me reach those 400 subscribers. Um, hopefully you have a great Easter still. And I will see you in the next video then. Peace out, guys.